Hi, I'm Jafar, uh, the Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering at University of Zanjo, Iran. Thanks for watching my videos. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most important concepts in mathematics and uh, physics, and that is the vector algebra or the dyadic algebra. Dyad is the extension of vectors which I will introduce it in the next few minutes. The first one who introduced this uh, algebra was Gibbs uh, around 1884. So uh, this notation is uh, known uh, as the Gibbs notation. The other uh, well-known uh, notation is the tensor notation. I don't want to speak about tensor notation here, I will definitely record some other videos to introduce this important notation. So, uh, in different physical problems, we are dealing with two types of variations. The first one is the time rate of change of something, which represents the temporal variation of that quantity. And the second uh, one uh, speaks about the special variation of a quantity with respect to different uh, coordinates in space. For example, in conservation laws, we have a time rate of change of, for example, temperature, momentum, linear momentum, energy, and so on. Uh, so, uh, if we want to describe the motion of something, we have to understand the concept of time rate of change of something. The uh, well-known operator <coughs> in uh, computing the time rate of change of something is the material derivative, or the substantial derivative, or the total derivative. Uh, I have already recorded some videos about the material derivative, and I don't want to speak about this important operator, but the material derivative is a scalar operator and has two parts, the local uh, part and the uh, advection part, or the convection part. And the second uh, type of variation in different physical problems, special variation, uh, if a quantity, for example, temperature varies with different positions in space, we have to find a way to describe this uh, change. Uh, all uh, these variations uh, are described with uh, the use of par partial derivatives with respect to, for example, time you see here, and uh, respect to different coordinates. The fundamental and the main operator of uh, vector algebra in this section is the gradient operator. I will talk about it or, uh, uh, in the next section. Uh, the other uh, operators, such as the divergence, the curl operator, the Laplacian operator, all can be derived from the gradient operator. Okay. Before starting the, uh, intro, I mean, before starting to introduce the uh, gradient operator and divergence, uh, let's uh, define two concepts. Let's introduce the first concept, which is polyads. Polyads are different elements of uh, tensor calculus or vector calculus. You see we have scalars, vectors, matrices or dyads, uh, triads, tetrads, and so on. Uh, each element has, a, uh, has an order which uh, is necessary to describe its behavior. So the scalar is a zero-order tensor or a zero-order polyad. A vector is uh, the first order uh, polyad, and matrix and di or dyad, or second order ten tensor, is uh, a second order polyad. So, uh, as you see, if you want to describe or to present a scalar, you don't need any uh, indices. It's ju it has just a scalar value, but if you want to uh, describe uh, the uh, vector field, you need uh, one index. So, for example, i. But uh, for a matrix or a dyad, we need two indices, i and j, uh, each of them uh, starting from one to three in three-dimensional space. Triad and tetra uh, are third order and uh, tetra uh, and fourth order polyads, respectively. It's not common to use triads and tetras. 
uh, we mostly use scholars, vectors, and matrices or diets.